a historic ruling that could keep Donald Trump off the ballot in Colorado. The state Supreme Court ruled by 4-3 to three on Tuesday that the former US president was ineligible to hold office because he supported an insurrection on January 6, 2021. The court overturned an earlier district court ruling which had said that though Trump had supported the insurrection, it was unclear that the provision was intended to cover the presidency. A former Colorado Solicitor General says the ruling was the correct one. The shared bond of our Constitution was applied to ensure that the rules are followed and, and going forward we have that shared common understanding of the document that governs us all. Uh, and, and I know there's disappointment and frustration, but the rule of law held today. It's the first time ever a candidate has been barred from running for election. In this case, it applies to the Colorado Republican primary on March 5th, but it could potentially prevent Trump from getting the Republican nomination for which he is the front runner. Speaking at a rally in Iowa on Tuesday night, the former president made no reference to the court ruling, but appeared unruffled. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists and fascists indict me, I consider it actually a great badge of honor. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Because I'm being indicted for you. Never forget, our enemies want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. It's very simple. Donald Trump is likely to appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court where he stands a good chance of faring better. Conservative judges are in the majority on the court, including three whom he himself appointed during his time in office.